Hi, my name is Matt Barber. I'm the regional manager for Coronado and Jemez Historic Site. Uh, filming with me today is Zachary Lance, who's behind the camera. I'm wearing my mask, but we are practicing social distance. And for this video, I'm gonna take off this mask um, so that I can speak with you more clearly. Hi, my name is Matthew Barber. I'm the regional manager of Coronado and Jemez Historic Site. Today, we are in the mural room at Coronado Historic Site in the visitor center. And joining me today is the mural of the black-tailed jackrabbit from the painted Kiva. This image is approximately 500 years old. It depicts a um, rabbit hunt amongst the people of Kuala Pueblo. We can see that it, 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 it demonstrates a rabbit hunt by the projectile point going through the rabbit and the hands on the rabbit's legs. We can also clearly see that it is a black-tailed jackrabbit, both by its black tail and by the black tips of its uh, ears. While it's called a jackrabbit, the black-tailed jackrabbit is actually a hare. And in fact, it's the largest hare in New Mexico. These animals uh, were prized both as a food source, but their, um, their fur was also used to create blankets. Jackrabbits are a species that is still hunted in New Mexico today by indigenous tribes as part of communal rabbit hunts. Attached to this presentation is a discussion of how you can participate in your own rabbit hunt, as well as how he can be cooked in a traditional Pueblo style. All of the, the murals here at Coronado Historic Site um, depict beautiful scenes of life amongst the people of Koala about 500 years ago. And we hope that you will join us soon in, in seeing these images for yourself and appreciating art and life of the Pueblo peoples at the time of contact with Coronado. Enjoy. Rabbit and Hare Hunting in New Mexico by Matthew Barber, Site Supervisor, Coronado Historic Site. In New Mexico, rabbits and hares are abundant and can be found throughout the state. The most common are the desert cottontail, which is a rabbit, and the black-tailed jackrabbit, which is a hare. Apart from the white-sided jackrabbit, also known as a Mexican hare, which is protected, there are no bag limits or hunting seasons on any of these species, and the taste of desert cottontail is superb. For these reasons and many others, rabbit hunts are often used to introduce a child or friend to hunting. Archaeological evidence in the form of animal bones and indigenous art attests to the longevity and popularity of rabbit hunting in New Mexico. Among Pueblo cultures, the rabbit was a dietary staple and sometimes the only meat available. At least two depictions of a rabbit hunt are present in the painted Kiva murals at Coronado Historic Site. These images show black-tailed jackrabbits being taken with traditional weapons. Today, even in most Pueblo communities, the traditional rabbit stick or bow has been replaced by the rifle or shotgun. However, the method of encountering the animal remains the same. Hunters walk transects approximately 20 to 40 feet apart from one another in a field, wash, or scrubbed environment where the animals are known to reside. The commotion causes the rabbits and hares to flush out from hiding and provides a shot opportunity for the hunter. Children too young to carry a gun can participate by walking the line, and dogs are often used in other parts of the country to chase the animals out of thickets. Both groups, children and dogs, are perfect to aid in the retrieval of downed animals. While any shotgun can be employed, number six or four shot is ideal for cottontails. Number two or BB shot shells are often necessary for jackrabbits, which can reach the size of a small to medium sized dog. If a hunter chooses instead to use a rifle or handgun, a 17 or 22 caliber round is preferable to larger rounds, which have a tendency towards damaging more of the meat. Pellet guns, slingshots, and blow guns may also be employed effectively on the desert cottontail, but are inadequate for the larger black-tailed jackrabbit. Some hunters will only kill rabbits in the late fall or winter because the animals are often infested with fleas and ticks. 
The, frosts, the frost kills these and other parasites. However, regardless of season, butchering the animal quickly after acquisition is highly recommended. The skin of the rabbit is fragile and tears away easily. Afterwards, the internal organs can be removed through an incision in the abdominal cavity. The animal can then be kept whole or quartered for cooking. The flavor and consistency of the desert cottontail is mild and can be used as a substitute for chicken in most recipes. The black-tailed jackrabbit is a tougher and gamier meat. It is suitable for stews and slow cooker recipes. Consider cooking the quartered sections of a jackrabbit in a crock pot on low for eight hours or until the meat falls off the bone with a mixture of one cup of your favorite barbecue sauce and two cups of water. Drain and then shred the meat. This preparation is ideal for sandwiches or to be put atop a plate of nachos. Mm -hmm.